Hi guys, hope everyone is doing good. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will be showing you one of the most requested tutorial which is the gold kundan jewelry. I shall be using this uh, watercolor set which I have already done the review earlier. You can skip this color if you don't have and you can normally use the watercolors or the poster colors. For example, here I have given the base color and uh, you can skip this color and do the regular yellowish color for the base so guys in this tutorial i will be showing you a mixed media type of work where you can combine uh, like metallic colors with regular watercolor some pencil colors for the shade some charcoal for the depth and so on you can complete the whole illustration using just a single medium like watercolor or poster color or even like sketch pens there are so many options to do the jewelries actually and also if you have not seen this video till now you can go and check out the video i will be posting the link in the description box or you can click on this i button currently i am using this gold colors a lot they have become my current favorite so guys let the first layer dry now coming to the second layer to build the intensity of the gold you can use any shade of brown now here to be very specific guys you can just use any shade of brown or like a dark yellow or you can mix that yellow to little brown and use that or to little black so here you can go very creative with the color because in gold kundan there is no specific shade sometimes it can be very reddish or it can have this bluish undertone if you just look at pictures of different gold colors you will see that in kundan and in jewelry the color can vary from uh, different shades of brown and yellowish colors so with the second layer we are kind of outlining the shape of the kundan you can just uh, build that darker shade around the sides somewhere you can keep it little thicker somewhere little thin so the kundan style is actually from a very ancient time and it's one of the oldest form of jewelry making it's made with molten gold and actually it's very pretty the shape and everything they look very rich and uh, for doing the effect you can just outline the shape and give it a very raw type of texture like it's not very perfect in the shape always you can create this kind of uneven brush strokes so guys here comes the interesting part to bring out that nice effect of kundan keep on increasing the shade like mix little extra brown to the color or like a black shade and uh, put the darker color mostly between the space like where one kundan is attached to the other kundan like that little gaps in between so you can feel that darker color in between the gaps and this is the complete look here guys now this is little bit time consuming you have to be very careful when you are outlining it but you can also do it in a manner where you are keeping some lines little thicker and some lines little thinner so don't be very specific with the brush strokes because kundan itself is kind of very raw and uh, it will give you that unpolished look so here you can see guys how you can see that little gold shine when i'm just moving my paper so if you are using a gold color for the base it will be very reflective otherwise you can do the whole illustration just with watercolors plain watercolors because i have tried doing this with simply watercolors and it looks equally good just here in the tutorial i thought of trying a little different and i did the base with this metallic watercolor otherwise you can totally skip the first portion and simply put a yellow color as the base a very important thing here to understand is uh, waiting between the layers to dry don't rush with your colors and uh, layer it accordingly in like two to three layers guys like don't add the black directly wait little bit and add little mid tones and then add the black at last definitely it will create lots of contrast and depth in your illustration like here you can see guys i'm using the black at the last and kind of giving this kind of 3d look you can see uh, and uh, putting the black mostly in between the gaps the tiny space where it will have that maximum of the darkness so this way you can definitely build the intensity of the gold look here 
and also this is one of the many techniques of uh, doing your jewelries in uh, the jewelries we can also try other mediums and other techniques this is purely watercolor based so if you enjoy watercolor if you are good with your brushes you can try this and if you are a beginner and if this is little tough for you then don't worry i will be coming up with more such tutorials and using easier mediums guys also do comment below that if you are interested to see more such jewelry videos now guys let's talk about the pole key here you can see i have the stedler luna watercolor pencils now these are just like watercolor medium first you just put the shade with the pencil and then use a brush to dilute the color little bit and give it like a watercolor effect so this you can just normally use a watercolor wash also i have just used the pencil and uh, instead of the pencil you can directly use a watercolor wash now pole key is uncut diamond and uh, it will create a very matte kind of shine so guys we already know that diamonds are very shiny very reflective but if they are uncut and they are used in their natural manner only like how it's extracted just in a stone base you know like which is not very polished well so it will not have a very shiny look so in the pole key when you are drawing the pole key you create a very matte kind of effect so you can use colors like gray like little light shade of blue some black and uh, this will create that nice matte reflective look lastly i would be using little amount of black like dilute your black and uh, use a very tiny amount to create that little darker shade on the pole key so here guys you don't need to color everything you can also keep that little white portion over the pole key if you are using watercolor directly then you can dilute your black to create a very light wash which will give that kind of grayish effect and guys the list of the materials which i'm using in the tutorial everything will be mentioned in the description box so here you can go totally creative with the color option for your stones like i'm using the emerald green to depict the emerald stone you can use shades like uh, red for ruby shades like padded green for showing the stone peridot or any other shade of colors according to the stone which you want to show after doing the base i will increase little shading by mixing little black to the base color and doing it on one corner see how i'm doing the shade particularly on one side for each of the stones here on the other side i will show that little reflection by adding little white over it so anyway guys first let's do the base for the pearls here and uh, for the pearls i've used uh, this poster color you can also use watercolor directly but i want to keep a little thicker look here so i have used a little poster mixed with slight amount of black to create this kind of grayish effect and you can see how i'm coloring it i'm kind of outlining the sides and keeping little whitish uh, center that is a reflective portion on the uh, center of the poles here so guys after you are done with the base you can increase the depth of the pole and uh, use a little black for outlining on one side and then clean your brush and uh, wet the brush little bit you can wipe the brush on a tissue paper or just dab it and then blend the black with the poster white do try this out if you are not comfortable with the watercolor you can simply use a pencil or like a very light uh, shading pencil and just uh, do this little shading on one side of the pole to create a very shiny effect on the round shape of the pole again talking about the poles they can have a different uh, size and different shapes actually and also the color can vary so in the upcoming tutorials i can show you more such uh, pearls so guys do comment below that what other type and what other stones or jewelry style you would like to see and i will try my best to make a tutorial on them lastly for this tiny gold beads i am doing the gold watercolor you can also try using any metallic pen like a metallic marker and then will uh, just bring out the depth on it using a little darker color like maybe a darker brown so you can use shades like burnt sienna 
raw umber or mix yellow with black and you can do lots of experiment here guys to see the different shades of the gold and uh, one more thing which we can do is bring that little shine suppose you want to make it little reflective you can add that touch of pure white color that thick white color like you have not diluted the white color just use that white to outline little bit here and there to show a very reflective portion you can also use a white gel pen i'm using the white poster color so we'll add little bit over the kundan to make it reflective and also we'll add over the stone that is the emerald so here by adding that little white on one corner you will show it to be very polished so guys adding the white will give a very highly reflective jewelry look and a very polished finish lastly i have taken a little amount of black to create a nice border or the outline around the shapes just making sure that the colors are not bleeding and here my jewelry is completed lastly i will be talking about one more step which you can do if you want i have taken little charcoal over the sandpaper and here is a blending stump now this is totally handmade guys you can simply roll out papers like uh, any kind of newspaper or plain xerox paper you can roll them and give a shape of a pencil and use that as a blending stamp or you can purchase them directly from the shop and use this to pick that uh, charcoal powder on the blending stamp and use it to give the little depth below the jewelry now you can use either charcoal stick or the ready-made charcoal pencils which you can get directly in the form of a pencil and uh, this technique i do sometimes where i want to create that little extra depth it creates a very nice shade and gives a 3d effect and brings a nice look for the jewelries so it's uh, for creating a lot of emphasis you can skip this step and just present it like a normal illustration without giving the shade so here is the complete look guys do let me know your views in the comment section and uh, do let me know the other recommendations you have for the videos and the tutorials if you are new to the channel don't forget to subscribe i shall see you all very soon till then keep illustrating keep practicing bye bye and take care